This is just a quick tip video on how to save your cutting files that you've made in Inkscape. So I'm in Inkscape here and I've just put three shapes onto the mat and I've just welded them together. Now I want to be able to save these as an SVG cutting file so that I can either open them directly in the Scan & Cut machine or so that I can open at a future date in Scan & Cut Canvas because I may want to add something to these or adjust them or resize them, whatever. So this is the, sh the, the file that I've made. So the first thing that you need to do is come up here to File and you need to choose Save As, not Save, the, you need the Save As option. So once you select save as you'll get this dialog box. It will automatically give it a name up here. I'm just going to call this um, drawing1.svg and in the save in folder here I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now I use a Mac so bear in mind that this configuration here may look slightly different to you if you use Windows but you will have some way of choosing an option to save on your desktop and I find that saving on the desktop initially is the easiest way to do things. Once you have the file there and you come to open Canvas it's easy to navigate to your desktop and you can always drag the file into another folder at a later date. So I've got desktop chosen here now down here you'll see a box that says Inkscape SVG and if you click on this down arrow you've got other options. So if I just go with what's chosen here at the moment which is Inkscape SVG, this may not be the default that yours shows up as but I'm going to show you two options in a minute. So I'm going to leave it as Inkscape SVG and it's called Drawing1.svg. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to choose save. Now you can't see it but it's saved it on my desktop. So now I'm going to come into Canvas. I'm going to open a new project. I'm going to come to the SVG icon which is here. I'm going to select that. Under import file where it says choose file, I'm going to select that. I'm going to make sure that I'm on my desktop. There's the file, Drawing One SVG. I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Choose. There's the name of the file now showing me in Canvas, and I'm going to say OK. And you probably won't be able to see this, but if I zoom in here, you can see I've just got this tiny, tiny little icon in the top left-hand corner that's barely visible, visible to the naked eye. Now sometimes when you find this tiny little design in this top left hand corner and you drag it out, you don't always get on your page the file that you're expecting to get. So another option is I'm going to go back to Inkscape, here's the cutting file, I'm going to come to File, Save As, I'm going to just rename this Drawing 2 just so I can differentiate. I'm going to leave it on the desktop, but this time I'm going to click on the down arrow here. I'm going to choose plain SVG, and then I'm going to say save. I'm going to go back to Scan & Cut Canvas. I'm just going to zoom back to fit to the mat so that you can see my mat again now. I'm going to come back to the SVG file. I'm going to go to choose file. This time I'm going to choose drawing two which is on my desktop and I'm going to say choose. You can see I've got drawing two here and I'm going to say OK. And this time the file comes in as it should do. So when you're saving your Inkscape cutting files, if you have this problem where you get a tiny little um, pattern or something up here in the top left hand corner it's probably that you've saved it as an Inkscape file whereas this one was saved as a plain SVG 
So that would be how I would initially start to save all your cutting files and you shouldn't have any problems then opening them in Scan and Cut Canvas or directly in your Scan and Cut machine. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.